Hi, this is Stephen Martin with Study Abroad Journal, and we are here in Manila, Philippines with Wilhelm Solheim, and we're asking him a few questions about Austronesian culture. Mr. Solheim, if we may ask you, who are the Austronesians and where did they come from? The Austronesians suggesting they're a people is an error right away. <clears throat> it refers, it's only a linguistics term uh, to a very major super family of languages. It should not refer to people. And that's why I invented the term Nusan Tao, was to refer to the people and, and not to the language. And I say that their homeland was on boats throughout the South China Sea, uh, parts of the western, uh, eastern Indian Ocean, out uh, into the Bismarcks, the end of New Guinea, uh, while <clears throat> the other major uh, hypothesis is that they originated in South China, uh, moved from there as pre-Austronesian to Taiwan, uh, and in Taiwan, the language evolved into a whole series of uh, seven, eight, nine quite uh, distinct languages. Uh, and according to Peter Bellwood, who is the uh, secondary author of the main uh, hypothesis, uh, they moved from, one of these groups moved from there somehow to the Philippines, to Luzon, south through the Philippines and spread east and west from Mindanao. Uh, I disagree with that. <laughs> as, as I say, I, I say their homeland was on the boats mm -hmm. uh, because they, uh, many of them, uh, until quite recently, you had families living on the boats and, and the women in particular, some of them, never set foot on land. They were scared to death of going on land because they were sure if they set foot on land, the evil spirits on the land would get them right away. So they spent their whole life on the boat or in, in the water. Uh, the men weren't so worried about the spirits, and the children paid no attention to them. <laughs> what can you tell us about Taiwan? Uh, Taiwan is such a peculiar uh, uh, component to this idea of Austronesian studies, and uh, uh, living and studying in Taiwan myself, it's. Uh, a curious uh, subject. Uh, Taiwan was first uh, in contact with the mainland uh, previous to about 20,000 years ago. Uh, all of the known Pleistocene sites are on the east coast uh, in uh, uh, cave sites. Uh, just on, on a cliff right right next to the uh, Pacific Ocean. And uh, there's a question, uh, did these continue? Did they intermix with the Austronesian? They probably did, but uh, I don't know that anybody is particularly worried about that and paid any attention to that particular problem. And movement off and on from the mainland out, out to Taiwan uh, at least to the Pescadores, as we call them, islands off the west coast of uh, central uh, uh, Taiwan. And the question is, uh, how often, how much contact was there with the mainland thereafter? Uh, in any case, the people on Taiwan from uh, 5,000 to 6,000 BC, somewhere in that neighborhood, uh, were in very little contact with each other so that they developed uh, mutually unintelligible languages uh, that showed very little relationship to each other, except it was obvious that all of them were Austronesian languages. And these people, there were both lowland uh, speakers of these new varieties of Austronesian and the mountain people. And they, well, they were so independent, so little contact between these groups, it's obvious they must have been a very small population uh, for them to develop independent languages. 
uh, and very little contact between them until uh, later on after the uh, climatic optimum, that is a period when the ocean levels were uh, up to five meters higher than they are today, uh, and their coastal sites were underwater uh, and forced a, a fair bit of movement around. And this, this period is largely unknown in most areas because the sites along the coast would have been covered and uh, most of them, if any of them, are not found. Uh, and it was never thought to look inland for them, and it's only recently that they've realized that uh, there would be sites inland, and they are finding uh, some of the earlier inland sites, but this is so recent there hasn't been much published about them yet and so on, so there's uh, still uh, a certain amount of controversy about the beginnings of these uh, Austronesian people uh, on, on Taiwan. As I have always felt, one particular group on the East Coast, the AMI, A-M-I-S, uh, were a group that came up from the Philippines because they're, they're the group that's most similar, but uh, linguistically they don't appear to be closely related to any of the Philippine languages either. So <clears throat> it, it's, it's a big problem as to just how their relationship works. Uh, and uh, wh when they started speaking to each other again, and that appears to be uh, after Japanese contact uh, at the beginning of the 20th century or a little bit earlier than that, uh, that there started to be more communication around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of controversy left. Mm -hmm. When was the climatic optimum that you talk about? What, what time period? Oh, this this is from uh, approximately 3000 BC, uh, plus or minus 1500 years. That is possibly as early as 5000 BC, uh, and getting back to more or less the present day sea level, uh, about uh, somewhere between two and three thousand, more like three thousand years ago. And sea levels varied a bit over the world, but uh, everywhere they, they were higher, uh, and uh, particularly in, uh, in Indonesia uh, and, and the Philippines, which is a very active area, uh, keeps rising, falling in different areas and so on because of the uh, tectonic, volcanic, and so on problems that are associated with this rising and falling of the land, let alone the sea level. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about the Batanas Island chain, and how did you think that fits into this? Uh, which, which island Well, chain? the Batanas. Oh. The Batanas uh, Islands, and oh, uh, okay. Yacht, and yeah. uh, Batan and Sabtang Island. Um, how does that fit into the, this Austronesian studies? Well, when, when I first came here in 1949, it was rather generally believed that there was a land bridge between Taiwan and the Philippines, and that the, these islands were just a higher portion of this, this land bridge, so that it was felt there was movement by land from Taiwan uh, to, to the Philippines, uh, be partially because in the northern, uh, in the Cagayan Valley, in the northern part of Luzon, uh, there have been fossil uh, animals found that obviously came from the mainland. That is, fossil elephants, both uh, normal size, stegodon, large crocodiles that uh, were freshwater crocodiles rather than uh, saltwater crocodiles and uh, deer, various other large mammals. Uh, elephants are good swimmers. Uh, they could have